as a way back to fighting maybe one day for a world title again? Uh, first of all, uh, thank you to, to PAXA for promotion and uh, United promotion. This is an uh, opportunity to come here and, and, and fight. So I, uh, I'm looking forward this boy to fight in the world title too. So this is a uh, key for the world title fight. What sort of shape, what sort of form is Arden in at the moment? It's, now it's uh, uh, more, more, more uh, exciting to, to the training and uh, he, he wants to, to win because this is a very hard fight in the in, in United Kingdom but he is a uh, uh, game to 100% to win. And you know that this man Andrew Selby is very highly regarded in the United Kingdom? No, it's uh, a big respect for the opponent uh, like Andrew Selby but uh, this, this is the day of fight so I, I, I am giving to, to the best for, for this. Yeah. Absolutely, thank you very much indeed. Andrew, he's got the um, he's got the track record then, hasn't he? He's been with some big boys. Yeah, he's um, fought for the world title. I give him all the credit, he's, he's a good fighter. I think I've got tools to beat him. And um, I just want to thank ITV for having me on there to, sh uh, to show my skills. What are your plans for 2017 then, if it all goes well on Saturday night? How does the rest of the year in a perfect world map out for you? Um, hopefully get the European title and get the world title. I want them all. Um, I think I'm good enough. So I train hard, so hopefully it, it all pays off. You think you've got a world title fight in you this year, this calendar year? Yeah. Um, this weekend, if, if they wanted to change the fight, um, I think I'm ready. You're ready, you're fit, you're focused, you're, you're, you're extremely confident, are you? Yeah, I'm confident. Um, I'm always confident, got to be confident to, to show, show everyone how good you are, basically. So, yeah. And you feel you're way, way beyond any domestic fight now. And we've seen you before with a lot of domestic fights, but you feel you're much above that level now. Yeah, um, well, I've, I've been to the Olympic Games. I've had about 300 amateur fights with top opposition. So, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for anyone. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Arlen. And we'll see you on Saturday night. Thank you for that. <laughs> Adam and uh, John Ryder next, please. Just wait until they've had their snaps taken. It's John Ryder. Stay where you are. This one, please. Yes. Yeah. We'll put you in a corner somewhere. Thank you very much. Sorry. Thank you very much indeed, Arlen and Andrew. Next up, you learn from the, uh, the Sergei Kaminsky fight. How much better are you for that experience? I learned more from that one fight than I did all the rest of my other fights. So um, we'll, sh we'll find out hopefully on Saturday night. Can you let us into what it was that you learned? Yeah, you know, it, just it, it's important not to get hit as well as hitting people you know I've always only ever had one thing in my mind and that's going forward plowing forward you know not considering what's coming back and you know all, anyone anyone that boxes it can be dangerous and that you know I've learned that I've learned the hard way and that's what you've been working on is it in, in uh, inspiring and in training yeah um, a lot of it's a lot of it's in your in your head you know if you go into fights thinking that you're I invincible and no one can no one can do anything to you. you. You're up there to get yourself shot down, and you know I've, I've learned a lot from that mistake. It's such a competitive division. There are so many good fighters. Are you feeling that to kick on, you can't afford to lose this one? Yeah, hundred percent. It's a massive fight um, against one of the best kids in the same division as me. So it's a must-win fight for us both. Okay, Adam. Thank you very much, Eddie. John, thanks for your time. Do you feel the same way? You can't afford to lose this one. No, no, not at all. I mean, uh, I think a loss here, I think it's curtains on the career. And uh, a win propels us on. You feel you've been thrown in the deep end here, moving to this division and, and fighting Adam straight away? It's not necessarily a bad thing. No, I think it's a good thing. I mean, uh, you, you go out a level, a weight below, and I mean, we've both been involved in big fights, me and Adam. So to go back to six rounds is a bit of a, a lost cause. So, so to get in for an actual title fight is a great thing. How do you feel 2017 could pan out for you? As I said, it's such a competitive division. How do you plot the route through the year? Pure, purely focus on setting out first and then get the win and then just go from there. You've got, you got a plan, you've got the tactics, you've studied the DVDs, you know exactly what you're going to do? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've always been a fan of Adam and he's, he's never in a dull fight, so I've watched a lot of his stuff. So, uh, 
there's a plan A, but um, we'll, we'll take it as it comes. I mean, Adam's obviously worked on the fields, come off loss, as have I. So it went for an interesting fight. And it, more spice, because it's a, it's a domestic fight for an international title, isn't it? Gives it a little bit more. Oh, definitely, yeah. I mean, um, it's great for an all British international contest, but it's, it's an all British showdown. I think it's a great thing. Brilliant. Thank you very much indeed. Barley, the photographer, will just get a few photos with you. Thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you very much indeed, Adam and John. We're up to the vacant champion eight title fights. How is your world title fights? How is your experience going to be key in all this on Saturday night? Uh, uh, first of all, I'm happy to be here. Uh, I'm very, very familiar with uh, uh, British boxing. I used, I used to live here in England. I used to train at the pickup gym, so I'm very familiar with a lot of things here. Uh, I think I've met uh, King one time uh, at uh, Floyd's Gym in Vegas, and I think we had we had a few rounds. So uh, he's a good kid. He's good, uh, but I'm here to I mean uh, prove myself to the UK market. Uh, this fight is going to be at a featherweight, but I'm looking at moving back to bantamweight after this fight. So uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, call out uh, Jamie McDonald and uh, uh, Lee Haskin. So I'm going to take care of business with uh, uh, King Galahad, and then I'm going to move down to bantamweight. And that, well, that's what you want to do next. So you feel that this is, even though you might move divisions, this is a stepping stone to having another tilt at the top. Yeah, uh, uh, Kid is a great guy. Uh, I have to, I mean, look very good on Saturday night, and uh, that will tell the story. Okay, Kid, great to see you back in the ring. Do you feel that three fights since you came back after your ban, but is, does it really start again now for you in many ways? Yeah, you know, I'm back on the big stage, back on ITV, and uh, fighting for in the 12th round for a title. Okay, it's a man with a lot of experience. Yeah, you know, people, he's been in the best, he's never lost to, who's he lost to, Rugondo and Abenares, and they're, they're uh, world champs at the minute. So uh, it's going to be a very tough night, it's going to be a hard night, and um, I think it's going to probably go 12 rounds, he's never been stopped. He's a fighter like Joshua Plotty, you, them kind of kids you, you can't really stop and it's going to be a very hard night. As you say, 12 rounds with Rigondo, I mean, that, that takes something against a man of that. Calibre. Yeah, it does, you know. We're going down as a punch, right? He's a, and he went four rounds with him, and uh, he's, been, he's been with some big punches, you know. And, uh, and he, he hasn't even budged, so it's going to be a very hard night. Are you a better fighter than before your ban? Yeah, you know, in my ban, I was, I was in the gym twice a day for 18 months, and obviously I wanted to make sure I got better. So when I come back now, I'm, uh, I've improved and you'll see a, bit, a bigger and better version of Kid Galahad. And this is arguably the strongest division in boxing, isn't it, at the moment? Yeah, it is. You know, we've got a lot of world champions, we've got good world champions, we've got Lee Selby, we've got Carl Frampton, we've got Neil Santa Cruz, and uh, it's a very, very good division to be in. So this, you're looking at a fight like this and thinking, if this can go well, then with, with that many big names, and obviously quite a few of them domestic as well, could be some exciting times around the corner. Yeah, it is. There's, there's a lot of big fights for the UK fans, you know, Scott Quigg or Carl Frampton in, in England would be very, very big fights for me. Brilliant. Thank you very much indeed for talking to just get photographs of Kid and Joseph. Joseph, thank you. We'll see you on Saturday nights. We're on to the